Good morning, you guys. It's an early morning. Um, okay, it's not that early, it's nine o'clock. <laughs> um, but I've got a few things that I wanna get done around the property today. I'm a little bit ahead of schedule. What is this? That can't be good. I'm dealing with something that I'm just now noticing on this magnolia that I have planted right here. I need to identify whatever is going on in the back of this leaf. Let me see if I can show you guys. I'm just now noticing this, okay, that's crazy. Okay, my plan for today anyways was to deal with, um, the willow tree is covered in aphid sap, honeydew, from the pecan tree. And my plan was also to deal with, we have spider mites on some marigolds. I was gonna get rid of those. And, um, oh, also, <laughs> Also, get rid of um, one of the flower beds that we have in the cut flower garden. But now, this is catching my attention. Let me, I don't know if you guys can see that on this camera. Let me turn the camera around and show you guys better. So, I have no clue what this is. This is the back side of the leaf. This is the front. And, like, I barely noticed anything. I just noticed that right there. And then I'm seeing that. So, I don't know what that is. I'm going to do a little bit of research really quick. So I am seeing it on a few of these leaves. I do have my first flower bud, but um, I'm seeing it on a few leaves, not the whole entire thing, but definitely some of them. I thought maybe it was spider mites on the back of here because right here, look at those. Those are covered in spider mites, but it's definitely not spider mites on these because I'm not seeing any webbing and um, I'm seeing all this black, I'm seeing all these black dots and there's no webbing, which usually with spider mites, you can see there's webbing. See all the webbing that's happening there? That's the sign of spider mites. And I'm also not seeing the leaves being sucked of their color, but I need to figure that out, because that's not, that's not good. So I texted Janie and asked her what she thought it was. She said she thinks that it is thrips. Um, I didn't see any thrips on there. But looking up what thrips do on magnolias, it very much looks like thrip damage. So I'm going to spray some neem oil, which you guys already know, I use the neem max. So I'm going to spray that on there. And I'm actually just going to leave this container right near it. So that way I remember to spray. I'm going to probably spray every three days um, just to try to get that under control. I haven't really dealt with thrips here. This has been a year of learning. We've never dealt with powdery mildew. We're dealing with powdery mildew. We've never dealt with aphids on the scale that we're dealing with aphids. Um, we've never dealt with thrips. And there's just a lot. This has been a year of learning. It's been a lot. A lot of lessons learned this year. And I'm sure you guys can see we ended up having to give the willow a big chop. I'm going to come in and cut that branch right there fully out. Let me show you guys what's happening on this thing. So you guys know, this is my neighbor's tree right here. It's a pecan tree and I'm dealing with aphids on it so bad. They're pecan aphids and it is dropping sap everywhere. The whole sidewalk is so sticky. It's actually dropping on the willow tree and it's coming down the leaves and dripping. You can see this thing, this oxalis that we have, look how shiny it looks. That is all honeydew from the aphids. And let me show you this branch. Let me show you this branch. See all that dripping down? That is all honeydew coming from these aphids. You can see it is so, so bad. I'm at the verge of lots of tears coming back here to the garden. Um, I mean, my dahlias have flopped. <sighs> Getting a little emotional about it. Um, I'm feeling very defeated. Sorry, I had to take a minute and collect myself. Um, the aphids are out of control. The spider mites are out of control. Thrips are out of control. Flower beds are out of control. It's feeling very, very, very overwhelming. This, like I said, has been a lot of lessons learned this year. Um, a lot of things that I will be doing again that I won't be doing. Um, I ordered some systemic pesticides to spray on the pecan tree. I've already talked to my neighbors. They don't want to remove the tree, but they said that I could put stuff down to um, try to take care of the aphids. I might try and order a few other things. I have no clue. I don't know what I'm doing. I've never dealt with aphids 
on this scale before where like my where it's affecting my garden but it's not my tree and also where it's like making it so that I can't come back here I can't even harvest any of the dahlias in this whole entire row right here because I mean one they've flopped but then also because they're so sticky and they're so covered in honeydew that I can't even use them um which is really <laughs> it's it's frustrating I mean like this one is so pretty this is I think this is labyrinth and um can't use them I can't use a lot of my garden I can't use the whole back half of my garden this pecan tree covers half of the garden so um I ordered some systemic pesticides to take care of it I'm not messing around with organic pesticides on that anymore I'm just going straight for the kill all be all option <laughs> it's it's frustrating so um I'm gonna cut that branch off of the willow tree it's a little bit too low that is one thing that you have to do with willow trees is you do have to like limb up the branches when I bought this tree there were branches all the way down here and so you just kind of like slowly cut them off as the tree grows and this one is one in the way this one's kind of in the way but it does curve up quite a bit so I think it'll be okay I'm gonna leave it um yeah but let's let's cover one thing at a time we're gonna start with this we're starting with the neem I'm gonna spray the magnolia then I'm gonna bag up the spider mites the thrips will be taken care of, the spider mites will be taken care of, then we're going to move on and take out, let me show you guys what I'm going to take out. We're going to take out this flower bed right here. So this one right here, this um, has just become an unusable space, and it's a little tiny flower bed in comparison to the rest of them that are long. So this one's going to get taken out, it has some zinnias in it but they're doing weird flopping things and has some dead sunflowers so i'm gonna rip everything out and cap off the irrigation all right well that is all sprayed i'm gonna be spraying that every three days to stay on top of it now i'm gonna bag up the spider mites that are in the pot right underneath it and the plan is to like put them in a black trash bag and put them in the garbage can Okay, that has been taken care of. Very important that anything spider mite related goes into the trash can, not the compost or not in the green waste bin, just needs to go into the trash and be like disposed of properly. Better yet, burned. If you have a burn pile, burn it. Um, so it's in there, it's in the trash can. I'm not gonna refill that container anytime soon. Um, I'm probably just gonna end up leaving it empty until the end of the season. Um, that way I don't even have to worry about it. So. Um, spider mites are taken care of, the thrips are possibly taken care of, but like I said, every couple days I'm going to be doing something about it, and now I'm going to try to deal with the pecan aphids.
okay well i have bugs in my eyelashes that's super cool okay well i'm back here i feel like i can breathe now coming back here it was so like overgrown so tight and the sunflowers that were there, I was leaving them because they had all the seeds on them and I was expecting the birds to eat them. There's so much other food right now that the birds are not eating them. Um, and they were covered in aphids. So let's just get rid of as many of those aphids on the property as we possibly can. Um, and the zinnias that were there were being really weird. They would, every single one of them had super crazy wonky stems. Um, and there just weren't that many of them. So this feels like I can come back here and like breathe. There is space now feels so much better. Very, very happy with that being gone. But it was just one too many beds. I was just trying to like stuff in as much as I could to grow as many flowers as possible. And um, yeah, so whatever. I'm happy that one's gone. <laughs> and I'm honestly ready for the rest of this to be gone. Um, a couple of the rows are still not performing the way that they should be performing. Um, so that bed is gone. Spider mites are gone. Thrips possibly controlled and um took out the willow branch and now i gotta figure out aphid control let me show you guys what i'm gonna use really quick so uh, this is what we're gonna use this is the bio advanced tree and shrub protect and feed it actually protects against um japanese beetles um gypsy moth emerald ash borers white flies um, you don't spray this at all. You actually just pour this at the base of the roots. You mix it. It's in a concentrate, so you mix it with water. Um, I don't know the ratio. I haven't fully, fully read it. This is going to be Brent's job. <laughs> um, but um, we were looking up, like, the ingredients to use to get rid of um, pecan aphids. And this has the two active ingredients that it says to use. And it says it in a good concentrate. Um, so it's less than 1% of... Okay, I'm just not gonna pretend I know how to pronounce any of this. I'll pop them up on the screen. <laughs> um, and it's used for ornamental trees, shrubs, um, gets rid of caterpillars, leaf miners, scale, whitefly, other insects listed. And I think in here it said pecan aphid. Oh no, it just says aphid. Aphid, scales, borers, all kinds of emerald bore ashes, birch borers, pink bark beetles, caterpillars, gypsy moths. Um, tent caterpillars, so I know a lot of you guys deal with tent caterpillars, so this might be a good one to use. Um, Japanese beetle, the adult, it doesn't get rid of the, like, the larva or the, like, minor stages. The leaf hoppers, leaf miners, mealybugs, pine tip moth larva, um, just all kinds of different things. So, it gets rid of thrips also, so if I can't get rid of it on the magnolia, I'm gonna try this stuff. And then it has the whole conversion rate on the back here, but this is what I'm using. Um, I'm gonna try this. I would have loved to have gone the route to get rid of some predatory, um, mites or aphids or pred predatory bugs, but, um, honestly, they are so incredibly expensive. It's a really great way to go. Um, and it's supposed to get rid of them pretty fast. This, the tree has to suck up the nutrients and then whatever feeds on them dies. So the plan is that it'll suck, the, the tree will suck this stuff up. It'll go to the leaves. The bugs will eat the leaves and they will die, meaning that they can't reproduce. So this should take care of the problem. It lasts 12 months, but we have a pretty intense infestation. So I'm gonna mix it at the strong, or I'm gonna have Brent mix it at the strongest ratio that it says to mix it at. Um, I don't even wanna play around. It tells you to like figure out the trunk size and all of the stuff. We're gonna we're gonna get this one down to a science because I'm I'm so tired of this. It's not I'm not gonna let this thing take out my willow tree. And then we actually ended up going to the Home Depot and buying this. And um, it's by Bonide. You guys know I love Bonide. I mean I use a lot of Bonide products. Um, and it had the active ingredient that we were looking for, which is whatever that is called right there. <laughs> and the other one it was. 0.74% and then this one it is 1.47% so it's much much stronger um and this is also a concentrate this was huge this was $22 where the other one that we had was um I think the same price and it was much much smaller and then this one says to apply it more often and also as a foliar application so we mixed it, poured it at the base of the tree, and then we also got on the ladder and sprayed the leaves of the tree. So we will keep an eye on this and see how this goes. And I also picked up this um, for 
um, we have a few things that have powdery mildew that are actually also our neighbors. So um, this I will be mixing up in one of these little containers and um, I will be spraying for powdery mildew on some of their plants that are also reaching over our property and a few things that we have powdery mildew on. Also, I got it because it takes care of black spot, um, which just in case that magnolia tree has black spot, then I have something to take care of it with. Brent got this all cleaned up. He weed eated, took that all out. It looks so much better. We reseeded that area. <laughs> it kind of looks like we have somebody buried in our backyard. <laughs> and then we have a sprinkler going right now. So that is so much better. I feel like I can walk back here. Let me show you guys. And I feel like I can breathe coming back this way now. It was just too much going on. So that is so much better, um, especially with limbing up the willow tree. We can actually walk under everything. See that? It was just so congested before. It was too much. So this is better. This is a lot better, actually. Um, and then we sprayed the willow tree just in case there were aphids on it, which I don't think there were. And we sprayed the pecan tree. So we ended up going a different route than the um, bio-advanced stuff, which um, I'm sure it would have worked also, but we found the stuff that had a much stronger ratio of that active ingredient, which is what we were looking for. So um, I will keep you guys updated on if that works. Fingers crossed. <laughs> and so that is gonna be it for this video now. We are done for the day. It's feeling like I can breathe here on the property again. I'm way less overwhelmed now. Now that that one bed is gone, I'm trying to do this thing where if it's giving me anxiety or stressing me out in the garden, it's gone, it's gotta go. You cannot stay, you're not gonna cause me stress in the garden. <laughs> so that's gonna be it for this video, guys. Thanks for hanging out with us today and I will see you all in the next one. Bye, guys. Mm -hmm.